everybody, welcome to today's lesson. It's Charlie Christian's Six Appeal. I'm gonna teach you this solo, note for note, from the genius of the electric jazz guitar, Charlie Christian. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started here with the solo. He starts on beat four as pickup notes, leading us into the one chord, the F minor, and it's F minor for six measures. But instead of just starting right on the F minor triad, he enters it by going, which is really nice. It creates some anticipation into the F minor chord. And then it's just the F minor triad. So that was on beat four, and slide into it, you know, slide a lot. Uh, one, two, three. And notice that rhythm there on the upbeat. And then, even though that's just an F minor triad, you get the slide. Sounds very vocal-like. And then we have the 11. We have the 6. We have the 9. And it kind of resembles a minor pentatonic scale there. One, two, three. I do recommend just repeating that phrase over and over, but you know, basically it's just based off this F minor triad shape with the addition of the six, the nine, and that fourth degree to add some flavor. And to get the little slide, make it bluesy too. Now the next part, he comes in on beat four again, but this time as a triplet. So we wanna do this. And you can either just hold the shape or kind of roll it so you get them detached. And it's a little bit tricky to get them detached. I'm, and I'm doing all downstrokes here, just kind of what they call sweeping or raking the strings. So you do want to hold that F minor triad. One, two, three. And then I make that beat one short. So it's one, two, three, triple it one. And I said triple it right on beat four. Remember, this one again starts on beat four. These phrases, one, two, three. And then this beautiful trill here, slur. Okay, one, two, one. We call it a nine. And again, it's about the articulation. And then he hangs on that major seven, kind of anticipating, I mean, you could think of it as a major seven, but really he's anticipating that C7 chord early. And that's a C7 chord or C9. I think he's thinking, G minor six, because C9 is very closely resembles G minor six. So you could do these kind of licks. But his lick specifically is slide, and then on beat one, one and two and three and four and one and two and, and the and of two there. Gives it a light feel by ending on the and of two. Let's do that again, but let's just start right on beat one this time. One. Two, three, four. Okay, one. He goes to this F minor triad up here. I love this lick. He F minor triad. Just a triad, but it's all about the rhythm and the feel. So hold this F minor triad, visualize this. And then this diminished triad, E diminished. And that'd be for the e C7 chord, the five chord, because it's going one, five, then back to the one. So it's this. So here it is connected. We have F minor, E diminished, which is really for C7. It's a great soloing trick. And then back to F minor. And then we want this D flat here, which is the four chord the B flat minor chord. Let's get that far and get the triplet. Let's get the picking too. It's rather tricky, so watch my hand here slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, minor triad. So again, you know, you wanna visualize these 
uh, shapes, uh, the notes. So that you know the theory is what I'm saying. Let's try it again. Connect those triplet licks to that F, the F minor, C7, F minor to the B flat minor, the four chord. One, two, three, make it swing. Stop right there, get that F. Really nail that, practice that, nail that slide into the F. Just try to get accurate. That slide really adds some articulation. Let's try that whole phrase again. The F minor, C7, F minor, B flat minor. One, two, three, four. Okay, great, so once you get to that F there, I couldn't stop playing it there. We wanna go, okay, you got to the F there, and then we wanna do a quick pick up a note, and one, two, three, four, and that's just a chromatic down to the fifth of the F minor. So you have this, and one, two, three, four, back to the F, do the slide, the gliss, they call it glissando. Let's do that again. Let's do it starting on the F here. You got from here. This is a great little two bar lick on the minor here. Um, here, just right on this F minor. But don't forget we're adding in that six degree for color. So you starting on the root here. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, four, one, and two, three, four. You'll see me slide. I, I like to slide pretty liberally here. So again, you may not hear that exactly to the recording, but that's just me adding my own little flavor to it. Here's that F minor six right here. And that's his solo. Congratulations. I have to show you this in case you don't already practice with this thing. One, two. This is the Pearl Metronome. It's a free app. I might help getting the phrasing, that's where it could be tricky, believe it or not, just knowing when to come in at the right time. So that's why I have it running. We're gonna go phrase by phrase with the metronome. We already did the analysis, so now we're just gonna go ahead and practice it to the metronome and get tight with it at the right time. So that's why I have it running. We're gonna go phrase by phrase with the metronome. We already did the analysis, so now we're just gonna go ahead and practice it to the metronome and get tight with it. Thank you.